Hi there, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Clubo, and we are back in Pokemon Scarlet. And also, we can hear the actual game now, which is amazing. So, the quiz has now ended. Uh, so thank you so much if you have been playing along with the quiz. But we're now back with the right music, and we're back to normal. So, we are going to go ahead and get into this video in a moment but in the last episode we continued the quiz of course we uh, failed miserably at trying to get to the psychic gym found out that actually it wasn't the right place to go but we caught a couple of new Pokemon along the way so that was lovely um, including a Sableye we then decided we'll head back to Mesa Gosa back to the Naranja Academy and we went and spoke to a lot of teachers as we're doing like now with Mr. Hassel so do read it yourself, I'm not going to be reading it right now while I continue my talk. But yes, we are speaking to Hazel right now, as I say. But yeah, we spoke to a few of the teachers, gained a bit of extra... And we got closer to each of them, well, that's probably the easiest way to say it, because it actually was that, yeah, we got closer to them. And then we did our lessons, we did the language lesson and we did the art lessons with Mr. Hassel. So... We're now just going to be speaking to both Mr. Hassel and to Mr. Salvatore as we've unlocked their dialogue as well. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then I think we are just going to go out and continue our explorations. Oh, Clubbo. Did you come all this all the way to the here to the staff room just to see me? I sure did. Aha, seems I've finally made it into the hearts of my students. This makes me very happy. After all, like I said in class, the communication is very important. If there's anything you're confused about in class, or if you're having if you're having trouble here at the academy, you can always come in to me. Come here and tell me. Tonami Salvatore, your friend Salvatore, that is. Oh eh. But we got closer to. Mr. Salvatore. Not sure if I want to get closer to him either, but yeah. So that's all the teachers now caught up, I believe, so I believe we're now going to head out of Naranja Academy and go off and continue our adventures somewhere. So we'll have a look on the map and figure out our next move, wherever we decide we want to go. I'm just trying to figure out what my next move's going to be. I believe I'm going to probably want to head to another gym, but I don't know if I'm going to do that yet. I'm trying to figure out if it's the electric gym I want to go for, or if it's going to be Titan I'm then going to do, or what my next step's going to be. So I think we are going to go and head for the gym badge over at the electric gym. So that'll be the direction we will head. But the easiest place to start will be, oh, we can't fly while we're inside the Naranja Academy, which, yes, I've now learned that, so don't do that. Head outside first, and then you can fly. Because apparently, they can't pick you up from inside a building. You have to be outside for it to actually work, so let's try that again. And now I've confused myself because the map has turned around, and it is actually the opposite direction. So, the map... This is, this is why I got very confused by the map, because every time that you face a direction, the map changes its location to kind of always face the way you're looking. Which, yeah, just, just confused the hell out of me. So, because for one moment it was on the right, then it was on the left, then it was on the right again, then it's on the left again. It just confused me. But, I think we figured out now where we are supposed to be going, and we're heading to Artism, where we can then head over to the gym and see what Pokemon we find along the way. And we find ourselves a Teddy Ursa, which we don't have one yet. 
time for us to try our might and our luck against Teddy Asset. Let's see. Add him to our party. But this Teddy Asa was a very sneaky little fella and decided to use Fury Swipes and annihilated me. So then I try out Combi. I hope that maybe Combi can help me with something. But instead, maybe it's just having Combi out as a backup just in case it doesn't catch out of this Pokeball. Or in this Pokeball. And he catches in this Pokeball, so everything's good anyway. Fabulous. So Teddy Asu is now part of the family. And yeah, nice to be able to hear the game once again. So everything we're doing now has its sound effects as it should do. And will probably fit what we're doing a bit better as well. Speaking of, Combi is now evolving into our Vespa Queen. Now I know I think I called a Combi Queen at some point, but it's definitely a Vespa Queen. And there we go. We've now evolved Combi into Vespa Queen. Now Vespa Queen also wants to learn Slash while she's at it. So I think I go ahead and remove Sweet Scent and add Slash instead. Which is fabulous. Now that I have my Vespa Queen, no longer need to keep her in my party as I don't need to level her up any longer. I will potentially go back and level her up to level 100 at some point. But as she's the highest evolution she can be. There's not really much need to keep her going, unless I wanted her in battles, but the likelihood is she's just going to be there for the Pokedex more than battling. But we continue on. We find a little Venonat over here. It's time to give Curlia a nice little run out, because she should still be able to use Hypnosis at this point. And that should help us with some of these Pokemon. Except when Vananat decides he's going to dodge my attack. Well, dodge my hypnosis. And then poisons me for good measure, which is just very rude. Oh, and there's a, there is a Taurus there. They tend to like to uh, stampede at you and attack you whenever they can. So we probably will get attacked by those at least once or twice throughout maybe this video, or at least over the course of this series. But hopefully this time we're going to be able to catch this Venonat now that it's fallen asleep. And we do, which is fantastic. This Taurus continues to stampede around because I think it noticed me so it wants to try and attack me but while I'm in a battle it can't attack. And also while you're in the menus it can't attack, but it will sit there and it will like keep charging at you and yeah, there's lots of weird things that go on like that. But there we go. Just as I come out of the menu, a Taurus goes and attacks me. We I think we have a few more behind us as well. So I think we've, we've kind of got caught in the middle of a little pack of them. So we are going to hopefully try and catch this Taurus, as we do need one anyway. And I try Hypnosis, Hypnosis gets avoided again, and then we get hit by Poison, which definitely hurts. Taurus then uses Tail Whip, which drops my defense, which is not helpful, but we then get to fall asleep, which is great what we wanted. And now hopefully when we throw our Pokeball at it, we will catch it nice and easily. So then we can move on. See there's one behind me just ready to 
attack as soon as it's able to. So no, that was close, but it didn't quite work. So Taurus is currently fast asleep. I get poisoned even further. To try a second Pokeball. Maybe this time Taurus will play ball. It'll be drowsy enough or asleep enough that it won't try and jump out. And there we go. Happy days. We've now got Taurus as well. Now Taurus doesn't have an evolution, as far as I'm aware in this game. But it just has a different form. So usually it is a brown and whitish or yellow whitish colour. In this area, so in Paldea, it's black. Like fully black. Very strange, I know. But right now I'm just deciding what we're gonna do with Life Dew, whether or not we're gonna keep it on our Pokemon or not. I believe I skip it anyway. Or we'll possibly even ask what Curlia wants to do. Or no, I decide, nope, I do not need Draining Kiss anymore, I'm going to use Life Dew instead. But hey ho, we now have Taurus, which now been registered as well. It's a fighting type. And there we go, yes, so it doesn't have an evolution in this game either. Which is, I suppose, rather good because otherwise I haven't got one yet, if that was the case. But now we're going to heal up Curlia. We're going to get rid of her. As you can see right there, just as I was talking, as Latoris decided to attack us. So if we're getting the menus, it can't actually technically tackle us, because we're in the menu. But it will still charge at us, so quite funny that. And then I noticed a spider creature over here, which is the evolved form of Tarantula. Um, as it being when it evolves from a shiny version of Tarantula, I'm not entirely sure what colour it is. Because I know the Tarantula is red, so I don't know whether the red continues into this one or not. But we go ahead and attack this one down. What a spide ops. on me. And I use Life Dew to heal myself. Not sure why. Could have just taken it down. Bug Bite was going to knock me out, so probably should have just taken it down in the first place, but it was rather waste to use Life Dew. I think I very quickly take Life Dew off of the Pokemon, as it's just not ideal. But anyway, we're going to bring out Lavatar. See if my lovely little girl can beat this thing for me, which it does, which is fantastic, so it should get a nice boost in XP. 695, very nice. Now up to level 17, which is lovely. And then I will head back to the Pokemon Center and heal up my Pokemon. As, yeah, I, I, I probably should at this point. So even in this area, the Pokemon are Relatively a higher level than most of my Pokemon, in fact, practically all my Pokemon that I hold. So I probably should have Crocolore or something else out with me to be able to do the damage and then not have to worry too much about these things. But we continue our walk through and then we find this Komala. Now, Komala is because it's being a koala actually is immune to hypnosis because it has comatose so the ability comatose means that it yeah can't be put to sleep which is a little annoying i suppose but i suppose being a koala they do sleep a lot so it would make sense that they i think they're also nocturnal as well not that we're currently at night time we're actually in the daytime so not entirely sure. But anyway. I'm going to try and catch this Kamala here with this Pokeball. Or this great Ultra Ball, in fact. I should say. And we missed. Well, we didn't miss. We just nearly caught it. i use Yawn, which makes me feel drowsy. So I try a Psybeam in the hope that I will drop its health down a little bit more. 
just going to make that a little bit easier to catch. Got a critical hit as well, which was great. And then, Curly fell asleep. So no, Kamala does not want to be caught right now. Which is rather annoying. With an Ultra Ball, see if that works. Nope, still doesn't work. Gotta continue to pursue and persevere. Try a Great Ball, just to see whether or not it's the Ultra Balls it doesn't want to be in. And it looks like it, was, it just didn't want to sit in an Ultra Ball. But the Great Ball's done it. And happy days. Tarantula's now potentially going to learn faint instead of string shot. And we've registered Kamala into the Pokedex as well. That is another one now on the list. And I believe Kamala doesn't have any evolution either. When I decide to click no on the nickname because of course I'm not going to name my Kamala but if you do have an idea of a name that you'd like to call my Kamala then please leave a comment down below and the best one will get will become the nickname of my Kamala so yeah please do leave a comment down below when or as and when you wish to go ahead and do so like I'm now just having a look at some of my things. I'm going for a full heal, even though I could just use an awakening that was literally above it. I have more awakenings than I do full heals, but hey ho. Kali is now no longer asleep. So I think I'm now heading back to the Pokemon Center, which was odd because I've just gone and healed my Pokemon to then just go back to the Pokemon Center. Well, instead I'm going to the Pokemon because so I'm actually going to go ahead and buy some more potions potentially. Or some Pokeballs or Nope, of course I'm going to buy some super potions. With my 33,000 cash. Or I could use LP if I wanted to use my 29,000 LP. But there's 10,500 used there for some more potions. Get a few more super potions and potions as well. There we go. Not bad at all. Grab a few more poke balls, potentially. A few more great balls. There we go. Back up to ten great balls. And that'll do for now. We could have probably sold some stuff and got some money back, but we will hoard that for now and then sell it all in bulk later. We shall continue journeys along the way. And we then find a Squawk ability. So, my girlfriend called this green one a Rasta Bird. I think it looks a bit more like Elvis with its kind of quiff thing, but I suppose maybe it's more like I don't know. Perm? Mohawk? Mohican? Not sure. It's just a rather overly fancy bird. But we don't have one, so that time we caught one, I suppose. So we give Vavillian a swing at it as well. We now are going to throw our uh, Pokeball out there. Hopefully, catch it in one. Let it not be annoying. But no, as every Pokemon nowadays is now doing, 
they are being a lot harder to catch. A lot more annoying to catch. But we will try an Ultra Ball. Maybe it will behave itself in an Ultra Ball. And it does. Finally, we have now caught our Pokemon. So we've got Stomping Tantrum. What are we going to replace with Stomping Tantrum, I wonder, Lavata? You want to not learn... Well, you want to stop learning Scary Face. Okay. Sounds like fun. Squawk ability. Do we want to give it a nickname? No. If you have a nickname for it that's not Rastabird, then leave a comment down below. And then another one taxes us, like, literally straight afterwards, so... Helpful. But it is weak against rock type moves, so we will give what ends its attack because it ends up using this thing ridiculous amounts of times, which is annoying. How every single Pokemon can use these types. And then it moves misses its attack as well, which is just even more annoying. That was a nice attack. So we'll give, and then unfortunately, due to torment, we can't use the same ability twice in a row. So we have to go ahead and use another ability instead. So we try payback. Um, nearly takes it down in in that hit. But unfortunately, we're just going to wait a little bit longer. Unfortunately, then Lavatar actually fails to bring it down in time and faints. So I'm left with. Not many Pokemon left to go for it, but as it only has a tiny bit of HP left, get that Hound or do a final or gonna maybe Ember or something. I assume it's going to be Ember, providing we actually hit it, and should take this thing down, which we do. There we go. Happy days. That is another one down. So we will continue our journeys a little bit. I think we're going to head back to Pokemon Center again. So we do, again, as I say, do a lot of this. Then I'll look at the technical machine by accident. We need to speak to the nurse or the Pokemon Center lady. Who I'd still like believe, to believe it's Joy. She does have the pink hair, which Nurse Joy does have. I'd very much like to believe it is. but it doesn't actually tell us. I'm sure there might be something in the law somewhere, or there'll be some transcript or something that states that yes, it is her, or it's her sister, or it's some form of family. But then we see a massive pig. And this is the old form of the Lechonk. So Lechonky's evolution is the, the pig. It's a bit more of a hog. I don't remember the name of it either. Again, I should probably really do my research. But I'm probably not going to do that. Also, we've suddenly gone to dark. So I took a long break as I decided to go make some food and forgot to press stop on my recording. So by the time I came back, it was dark and I had to kind of edit a load of this stuff out, or it might have been actually I'd stopped the crawl in actually, and then by the time I came back, because I left the game on, it was night time. So, yeah, we just have a random change in the day, but don't worry, we've not moved anywhere, we didn't do anything that you didn't miss, so, but we are doing a lot of back and forth to this Pokemon Center at the moment, which is fine, I'm sure. We're just sort of slowly working our way towards the electric gym. So we can do our third gym and really start to push forward with the storyline and things. So. And I'll bring Quaxel out. I'm looking to 
see if there's anything else that I want to bring with me. Just in case there's other Pokemon I might want to bring out and use. So there is Lechonky, and that's, as I say, the pre-evolution to the bigger pig that we saw in the fields. It looks like I'm going to pick Florigato, or I'm going to bring Florigato onto page one, because I want to keep them on page one for now. So they're easier to find again, I suppose. As the more and more we catch, the more and more flooded we're going to... Well, we're going to flood all our boxes with random Pokemon. So eventually we're going to probably have to sit there and organise them all and what have you. But it's only that like Quaxel because he's a little bit... Quacks well because he's a bit of a higher level, so a lot of these Pokemon he is able to take down with relative ease. And then we find a Pokemon here, which is the evolved form of a Bond Suite, which is Steeny. Now, I don't actually realise that this is the evolved form of Bond Suite or Bound Suite, a little bud Pokemon. So we go ahead and catch this one anyway. But, again, I probably don't remember, or don't really know a lot of these Pokemon, should I say. So, for me, it was, it's a new Pokemon, I've not seen it before, I am going to go ahead and try and catch it. And with some amazing work by Quaxwell, we've been able to bring that HP down right to this little smidge, and Steenie's been easy to catch from there. So, fantastic. That's another one now added to the Pokédex as well. So if you have actually been keeping up with this series and you've been making your own little count of how many Pokémon I've caught so far, please let me know down below how many I've actually caught at this point, because I don't know. I never... I don't really look at my Pokédex that often, so I actually don't really know how many I've caught at this point. Without going back and watching the videos myself. Which I may do at some point, and maybe... I'll actually do some research and actually be able to tell you what these Pokemon are, but I prefer just to be a bit more myself and yeah, probably not going to go back and research this as I say. But we're just going to take down this shrewd all nice and easy. As we already have caught one in a previous episode, so we don't need another one. Which is absolutely fine. And we're just waiting for... Whatever, I don't even know what we're waiting for at this point. But, Fonzie's now learnt another ability potentially there. Not very good. We're going to just carry on a little bit. Item. And then possibly we can go fight this trainer. Yep, looks like we're going to take on this trainer. So we'll go ahead and do that. Enjoying your day off, because I am. It's not my day off, but I am enjoying myself, yeah, absolutely. Salvador, the janitor. Hello, Quaxwell. We are taking on a Marini isn't susceptible to fighting type moves. So we'll be using those again potentially. But we'll try an aqua cutter, see whether or not that does anything better. It's not very effective, but at least it's dropped its HP quite nicely. So basically Quaxwell is just not the right Pokemon type for Marini. But we've managed to take it down, so not too bad at all there. And Salvador, the janitor, has been defeated. Very nicely done there. Now we're going to run down and grab this item. Nice little ether to add to our inventory. And I think I'm just going to take a look around. So what a new other Pokemon are there? If there's any new Pokemon that I've not caught before, 
make sure I don't get hit by any of them. So that was a Dunsparce over there. Don't want to get hit by one of them. And head back to the Pokemon Centre once again. So I think as we're now at this Pokemon Centre here, we're going to wind this episode down. So I hope you have enjoyed this episode. And if you did, don't forget to like the video, share the video and subscribe. But I do hope you have a lovely day and I will see you in the next one.